It may not seem it, but this is one of the most powerful weapons in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies and makes Tier 3 incredibly easy and might just be the best weapon to use against any boss in the game. So we're going to go straight into the red zone. We're going to try and take down some abominations, some elites, some bounties and see what we can do with these. And in the process, I'm going to try and get gold on it because I need to do some of the challenges. So I'm going to put the Cryo Freeze mod on it because that is what this gold camo requires. And let's get the heck out of here. The first portal call is my tombstone stash because we have some goodies that are going to set us up for the red zone. And when I told you it was cracked, I, I really mean it. So look right here. We've got ourselves a flawless to get us to tier three. Let's get the legendary rarity. And we also have an extra special scorcher just so I can maneuver a little bit quicker. Oh my God. Why is that thing just spawned? Hello. <laughs> I need you a little bit later, buddy. Let's throw down the decoy. And let's buy all these lovely perks. All right. Now I feel a little bit more safe. So let's see. How is this just against the tier three zombies? Okay. Straight away. I think you can see this thing is disgusting. The only downside to these is that obviously because they are pistols, the range on them is not insane. But it's the snake shot ammo that just makes this even more deadlier from a range that it shouldn't be. Okay, we've got a mangler over here. Let's go ahead and see how quickly we can take this thing out. This thing might be better than the crossbow. I don't want to say it. I don't think it might. I don't know. I just feel like a badass cowboy running around with this, but I just realized I need to go to a buy station, and I think that is the only one. What a weird place to put a buy station. But yeah, I, I need to get myself a three plate and a, a bigger backpack because I only have one more schematic that I need to get. It's like we're starting off our first takedown with an actual bounty elite all right not even the normal abomination but an elite oh i'm a bit nervous lads here goes nothing but should we cry freeze as well oh my god oh the server's lagging a little bit we don't like that we've taken down he's only got one mouth at this point oh my god how did we just kill it that quick? Did you see that? It took damage even when we weren't shooting at it. And that was an epic abomination. All right, let's throw another decoy down. Let's grab the money, the moolah. And what do we get? Quick revive. Okay, we got we got absolutely nothing, lads. But we did get a mortar strike. I don't know what the heck made him die so quick, but I'm not going to complain. I could literally end the video there because we have just absolutely decimated it. But I'm not done. I want to kill more zombies with this thing. I need to get at least 250 kills with the cryo freeze to complete this camo challenge as well but i want to take down if, if we took down the epic abomination that quickly i don't want to know how quick we're going to take down the normal one because that was actually frightening okay and the next bounty it's another mega okay let's test out the range on these things so i think with the laser it makes you a little bit more accurate gives it a little bit more range but as you can see even from a decent distance, these things are a one to two shot. Still yet to come across like a mimic or anything like that. That's what I'm really intrigued to see. And oh, okay, we've got a normal abomination. All right, we're taking you down, sir. There is no negotiation with this, my friend. Oh boy. Hey, that's how you get rid of the laser. You just duke, you duke the, you duke the lad. This is the problem when you fight the abomination. He starts getting a bit too close to you. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth, buddy. Open your mouth. Oh, this is getting hairy. Oh, okay. Let's just get some get some height. Okay. That stops his laser attack like straight away. It's the dogs that you've got to worry about more so than anything else. Okay, he's got another open mouth. Can we get to your mouth? There you go. I think that's the only thing you've got to do with the Mega Abomination. It's just take your time, wait for it to open its mouth, and then fire in. Come on, just get a bit closer. Oh, it's only open for a certain amount of time. Oh, he wants me to go on. Open your mouth. I dare you. And he is dead. Definitely a super effective weapon, but you really got to be close and that can be frightening. Let's chuck down a decoy. Oh my God. Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought I was going to lag out or something. Okay, here we go. I don't know how we took him down so hard before, but we managed it. Dropping an energy charge. Honestly, it felt easier to kill this than it did to kill the normal one. Okay, the laser's brewing right now. Okay, this one shot's mimics. Oh my god, so that is the trick. That Did you guys know that's the quickest way to take down a, an abomination? When it's lasering, literally just fire at its mouth and it dies that quick? Because that is news to me. Okay, I need to get some ammo for, for it, so let's uh, see. Can we get any ammo drop from the zombies? Oh yes. Honestly, the, the Scorcher isn't amazing, 
But in this instance, it is such a good support weapon within tier three. My God. And there we go. It's dead. Wow. Okay, here we go. He dropped quite a few perks there. And what do we get? Absolute trash yet again. An epic ether tool though. Not the worst. Not the worst. But so far, I really hope you're enjoying this video. It's so fun just trying out these fun weapons inside of zombies and seeing how good they are. Right, I'm ready for this disciple, man. And it's funny because when Warzone 1 first came out and, and pretty much every other Warzone iteration thereafter, there's always some sort of meta where having dual snake shot pistols and being able to shoot them rapidly is the meta. We've got yet another abomination, which he is now. Game over, man. That is, that is the move. That's all you got to do. I always knew that the disciple's laser was like, you need to move out of the way. But I did not realize at all that that was when he was the weakest. There we go. He's going to do it. <laughs> oh, this makes fights so much easier. I really do learn something new every day. I didn't even see bro die, but he's dead. Okay, disciple time. Let's go. Let's see how good this is. Here we go. Good damage to start off with. Got to stop him healing. Oh, this isn't as good against him as I first... Okay, there we go. Now we're getting good damage on him. Infested Stronghold completed. I haven't done an Infested Stronghold. Hello. And a few more shots and he's dead. I got to hand it. This gun is actually really good. Elemental pop recipe. Oh, the only one I need, I think is phd i've heard this thing is also incredibly powerful for taking down the stormcaller boss which is the hardest boss fight in modern warfare 3 zombies in terms of damage this thing may just be the very best thing to use against it so let's go in and let's see how quickly we can take it down there we go oh my god Oh my god. What the hell? You can tell by that reaction at three in the morning. Yeah, I was amazed at just how good this was against a Stormcaller. This is easily one of the best weapons in the game. But I think the move now is we're going to move to an Outlast contract and try and get our challenge done. And here we go with what is easily the best method right now to farm weapon XP and to grind kills for camos because you get infinite zombies during this and this would be a perfect way to demonstrate how insane these pistols are plus i really need the cry for his kills maybe i shouldn't have bought elemental pop but um you know never mind let this get to about 50 percent progress and then we're gonna hop off it and then just farm up the zombie kills. I really enjoy using these akimbo pistols. It makes me feel like the Remington new model army from Buried, but just in an akimbo version. Now, the only issue with this is because this gun is so powerful in a tier one zone, we're just straight up killing everything. We aren't actually getting the freeze kills. The irony would I need to be in a tier three. Maybe that's what we do. I don't know. We are getting frost damage kills though. So that is good. And the beauty of this contract is that when you figure out where the zombies are spawning, you can literally just sort of cheese them in a way. The zombies only really come at you from like one specific spot like this. And then it is just free game. Oh, there we go. Get the 250 kills with frost damage. That didn't take long at all. In that case, let's actually try and complete this contract so I can get some daily challenges so I can get some armory unlocked. But I love that by default, these pistols are actually pretty rubbish. But you get these attachments on it and my God, this thing is going to be a laser. Like I said, I genuinely wouldn't be surprised to see these become the meta secondaries to run in Warzone with the new map. Like these are going to annihilate. Oh, we're going to get double, double the points for completing this challenge as well. Is it even worth checking to see what we got yeah that is absolute trash my guy i'm intrigued to see how good these are in an, an infested stronghold like these are got to be just one shots on all of them it's a one to two shot easily look at that these are areas that i absolutely hate the most i get so frightened clearing these but most guns would just not really be able to do anything this might be one of the biggest strongholds i have ever cleared okay we got it we actually got rid of all the all the spores this is one of the biggest strongholds I think I've ever been in. Okay, what? What is that? Taking out all the tier three bosses wasn't good enough. This also is the best weapon that I've used to take down those infested strongholds. But we're going to wrap it up here, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos on crazy guns, just let me know in the comments. But I need to show you exactly what the build of this is.
Because obviously I want all of you lot to rock this in your game. So let's take a look at the loadout. So here is the build, ladies and gentlemen. If we go to the gunsmith, so these are what you want to have. You want the one MW pistol laser, which is going to help your accuracy. The ZU-16 heavy long barrel. But this is where the magic comes in. The snake shot ammunition. This literally changes this weapon to become the demon that you saw in the video. You need the ULLR's fury for the trigger action to shoot quicker. And of course, the rear grip akimbo. So you can have two of them. It's literally the golden gun from destiny but we have it akimbo like how fire is that